and I am live. Welcome back, everybody. It's been way too long since I've last hung out with you guys. Uh, just go double check to see if my output device is working dandy. You guys couldn't hear password before. Now you can. <laughs> so, I am Dr. Red Panda, and I am playing Password Day 14. So, you guys might notice something a little different other than the the light being kind of off and my phone just giving me a text message of some sorts um i have a new mic and it's a mic that i got for my birthday and i'm spitting everywhere i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah i really wanted this mic for a while now and i have been saving up money and i did use some of the Patreon money and PayPal money, etc., etc., from ads or whatever stuff that this channel has gotten for the headphones. But I was thinking, might as well wait for the mic, maybe for my birthday or Christmas. Like, you know, I got family and they are asking me, what do you want? And, you know, I try not to ask for too much. So, you know, if I do ask for something, it's going to be, you know, Decent price, but, you know, only ask the closest people that I know would support me for it. Oh boy, somebody has started the day off with a $2 donation. And I'm not sure if the alert box will alert us on it. Yep, it works. Super chat. Great. And my mic is perfectly aligned so that it pops, so my sprite pops out of the mic. <laughs> So, Perpy says, Dirk, it's me, Perpy. Here, money. Sums you up well, Perpy. Thank you so much for the $2. Um, but yes, really excited. I'm very thankful that my parents got me this and were supportive in that. So, yeah, my mic quality is going to sound way much better than my iPhone, which I used for the longest time since the beginning of time. And Light is here, Nicholas is here, another big supporter from the last episode. Perpy and Nick are our big perpetrators, and... Ah, I forget what it was. It's a, it was a six-letter thing, and it was like two letters, and then the third letter was capitalized. Ah, not sure if they're going to pop up here. I'll have to check the last video, but there was a third person that also donated in, those, in that video, and I want to thank those three for all the donated in that episode that was insane the last episode don't think anybody else donated but if i forgot i'm sorry thank you for donating if you did so yes thanks Coromar. the mic does sound good yes and i'm just going to go to my youtube just to double check to see things work I just want to see if the YouTube studio on YouTube itself works fine, because I have to always change the thumbnail every damn time I <laughs> do the stream. And then Perpy just donates another $2, of course, and just says, I just watched your video live. Which, uh, I'm so torn on whether or not I should start Socially Awkward or wait to do it onto my own channel. I watched the first episode Lai did on it, and it's like, ah, oh, it's so good. But at the same time, I don't want to spoil too much for myself. Um, where the heck Ooh, is the thumbnail? super chat? <laughs> Not a moment too late. Um, yeah, where the heck is the thumbnail button? There it is. That's the one thing about Streamlabs that I don't like, is that it doesn't give you a thumbnail option. It lets you do the description, but no thumbnail. There it is. <laughs> Where the heck am I? What is password? How does one password? I've forgotten almost every single password. And this will go into the password playlist. And tags. <laughs> this is how you make the big bucks. <laughs> Not really. Super chat. Oh my god, Korobar, you donated. Stop. <laughs> I should be donating to you for being such an awesome mod. <laughs> Uh, all right, 
And last but not least, I gotta give myself a introduction and basically make sections for the video beforehand, or at least indicate when I'm actually starting the reading as opposed to just not telling you guys and boring you guys for 10 minutes if you don't come to hear me talk. <laughs> Thank God for this time stamp type of setting on YouTube. Otherwise, I don't know how I'd be able to keep people interested in my videos. Um, save. Alrighty. I'm turning 19 in 10 minutes. We got this, partner. Happy birthday to Koromaru. I forgot it's your birthday. Oh. <laughs> My head just jerked crazy, but yeah, it's your birthday is in a few minutes Eastern time because it'll be the 12th. <laughs> Not sure if you want me to say that out loud, but then again, you're saying you're turning 19 in 10 minutes. <laughs> now there's today or tomorrow, but hmm. yeah. Super chat. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say that Streamlabs is a bit behind <laughs> or not Furby donated five dollars Dirk you're looking extremely hot black looks good on you oh wait I misread that Dirk you're looking extremely hot black looks good on you this is an old shirt and it should be thrown out soon it's got a hole at the bottom of it not sure if you can see it but it's a it's an older shirt of mine it's it's starting to go, but I love it. It feels comfortable. <laughs> so the actual stream itself will start at the 10 minute mark. And should we wait until Koromaru turns 19 to start? <laughs> oh, that would be crazy. Oh, man. But... Yeah, it is in six minutes. So, regarding the title of the episode, Day 14, Brackets, Dean, and Tyson? Question mark? The thing I've noticed with Password is that some days get very, like, specific with its days, but then others will end up doing this thing where it's like, only a tiny bit of the day will be root-based. Like, besides the whole path thing we had a whole theory about in the last episode, or, well, it's not a theory, it's kind of proven, but it's a crazy scenario. The roots themselves don't branch out into Dean Day 14, Dean Day 15 specifically. Like, some of the days will be Day 14 for everybody, but a few lines will be altered based on the route you chose. Like, the dating route. There's a dating route, and then there's a path slash storyline so there's like two different things but in terms of roots day 13 and day 14 assumably are basically going to be the same whether or not we play dean or tyson just a few lines are going to be altered and i'm going to play through this the first run through as all dean not skipping anything at all and once i finish it if i have the time i'll just wait skim through the parts that i read already and then just say the tyson specific parts so I'll probably if i do that time stamp that and be like the tyson lines or something um if you want to play the game in full then you can download password the link for it should be in the description <laughs> i swear it is i Yes, it is. Just to double check. On Patreon. Yes, Grizz's work. But, yeah. Um, other than that, it's just going to be a typical password episode. Other than I left my game mug over there. And I need to get it. If I want to have my happy juice. And be like Dave. Have a happy juice. Right now, all I have is my mug of water. 
Hmm. Super chat. Did somebody do it again? Oh boy. Nicholas Cataneo. $9.99. <laughs> and then Perpy gave me $2 too, but. Yeah. Perpy is confused if this is a recent update. <laughs> I should have played this weeks ago, like two or three weeks ago, and then I got caught up with school. Lied played it already, so if you watched his channel and like watched all of his videos, you probably saw this already. But this is the most recent update for Password, so it's a couple of weeks old. Hmm. Super chat. There it is. <laughs> but yeah. This is the most recent update. Ah, I gotta have to change the time marker to 12 minutes. You know what? It's gonna be exactly on time from one to when Koromaru turns 19. <laughs> um, and save. But, yeah. I should have played this a little while back, but got busy. Um, Nicholas Cataneo says, Well, this is as much as I can donate. <laughs> You're fine. I... I Anything more than a cent is more than enough. Or anything more than zero dollars and zero cents is more than enough. But this is as much as I can donate. But happy birthday, Koromaru, and keep up the great work, Dirk. Also, you should get an ugly Christmas sweater. That would be interesting. <laughs> I don't have one anymore. I had like an ugly Christmas vest as a kid. And I had to wear it for a Christmas show once. Ugh, it was ugly. <laughs> and it was tight and itchy. And it was like kind of that burgundy, like that that ugly burgundy brown mix of colors in the thread. And it, it was like your stereotypical ugly Christmas vest that looked just, it, it just looked old school. <laughs> it's never enough. Shut up and take my money. Super chat. Two dollars from Perpy the Cat. <laughs> thank you so much, Perpy. And once again, thank you so much, Nicholas. Honestly, I think you've done so far. It's more than enough. That goes for anybody. All this stuff is optional. And once again, the reading starts at 13 minutes. I will not ramble for more than 13 minutes. As Dirk then rambles for another five minutes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but... The password page is here. We are going to load Dean part two. Yeah, because I took two pages worth to save Dean's Dean's thingamabobs. And this is where we're going to start. The end of day 13, the start of day 14, question mark. We don't know. We were basically passing out at the end of day 13. Let's find out what happens. In a way, I was relieved now that everything had stopped. Was I dead? Was I asleep? Either way, all I could do was let whatever happens, happen. He said the line. He said the line his dad says. Is it? Yep, it's day 14. Uh, no! Damn it. Let me, let me get the animation. I like saving it on the animation. It makes me feel proud of myself. Like I hit a special button. Anyway. If I had to describe it, it felt like falling. Not through air or through water, but something in between. Maybe like jelly? Oh god, that, that was a bit stark of a transition, but... And then Hoyt said, why the long face? <laughs> Priceless, right? Uh huh? What? My hand scrambled over my front, breathing, picking up. Where was I? What happened? You know, er, you know, because he was a horse. N no, not that. 
I mean. Because horses have long faces. <laughs> no, Dad, stop. Oh, what did I do? I thought you'd like that joke. Oh, Dad. Dad, you're trying so hard. I... I was in... I was in the forest. In the woods. Oh, God. What the fuck? Right. And... Head Jack was there. This is the part where you run away. Really fast. Y yeah. And uh, what else? Dave? Dad. What? Where are we? Super chat. No! Who did it? Dave's dad will smite you for this. <laughs> Perfy the cat donated $2. It says, Ong. <laughs> I love your dad voice, drools. <laughs> As I say that, I, I feel like that's what you wanted. Did you get what you wanted? Do I have to bonk you on the head, perpy? Oh boy. <laughs> you guys just have too much fun with this. So, dad, what? Where are we? Well, you know me. Always getting lost. Sometimes I break the time dimension loop and then somehow end up in the forest. <sighs> I sometimes come here to think. Other times, I just do it to, an to annoy your wife. I mean, mom, my wife. <laughs> sometimes I do it just to piss your mom off. Sometimes I do it when I feel like making s'mores. Anyway, always getting lost. I started to back away, but my feet felt like they were encased in cement. And me flare spitting all over this camera. I am so sorry. I can see the spit droplets go over. This is not virus safe. This is not demonetizable word safe. Not only that, but each step felt as though I wasn't really touching the ground. Slipping, somehow. You never got lost. Don't I? <laughs> well, I guess that go- er, Well, <laughs> guess there goes that cover. <laughs> I was jacked the whole time! <laughs> If, if that was actually what happened, I would absolutely lose my crap. This game would be over, and I would lose the, lose all my mind. He began to convulse. Oh, God. Body writhing and arms moving at unnatural angles until he fell still. I shouldn't have read it like I did, but I was just too shocked. He began to convulse. Body writhing and arms moving at unnatural angles until he fell still. God damn it! I end this game. This game is over. This game is now over. I hate this game. You. Hello, Dave. Shall we pick up where we left off? Oh, God. I started pulling on my ears, feeling sick. I could feel my heart rate pick up, although... Something was wrong. It felt numb somehow. Like it wanted to beat faster, but something was stopping it. What I did know, though, was that it hurt. Leave me alone! I'm not gonna run this time. Think Benson is going to come save you? This isn't real! I made it back! Did you? You wanted to die before. Why not now? A wave of guilt washed over me when I couldn't think of an answer. Jack approached, the knife almost disappearing from his hand as he approached. First the cliff by the road, then the river. Maybe you stuck around because you hoped something bad would happen. 
No. I... I just thought... What? That some loser in the woods actually might... Or that some loser in the woods actually needed your help? Well, yeah. I can be plenty helpful. Like your dad. Why is this actually calling me out in real life? Why does Dave and his dad relate in that same father-son way that my dad and I did, where we were helpful people? Oh, God. I feel like I'm relating too hard. I, now, I think Dave is 18, because they, they all graduated high school recently, or at least Dave did. Dave and Tyson, at least, graduated recently in high school, and I think the oldest may be Dean. So, yeah, you might have to correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like, at least Roswell, Tyson, and Dave, the main character, are all within, like, the same grade, because we have flashbacks of them in class together, or stories of them, anecdotes. Um... I can't think of anything other than that to prove it, but that's from what I'm going off of. I need Dirk to read Far Beyond the World someday, and if he doesn't soon, I will lose it. <laughs> Keeping that in mind. <laughs> I'm, ah, uh, it's so tough because I hear people tell me, like, you should read this novel, you should read this, and I'm like, I don't want to spoil what I'm starting in January. I may or may not do Far Beyond the World in January. I may or may not play another novel in January, like... There's a couple of novels out there that I just don't want to, like, say, oh, yes, I'm going to be doing it in January. I'm just, ah, I want to keep this secret, plus I don't want to bind myself to something in case I'm running behind on my VN or, you know, get caught up with the schoolwork thing. I just found out the internship that I got for the <laughs> upcoming quarter for my project class that I've been doing this past fall. This, the, the fall part of it was an intro to get into the winter slash spring part. And I finally found out which one I got into. And <laughs> it's exciting, but uh, nervously it will be my first internship in my job. <laughs> but anyway, we will find out if I do Far Beyond the World in January. Hmm. Super chat. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, pay me like, do it or else I will cancel your channel. And then pays me. <laughs> I need you to voice far beyond the world. God damn it. <laughs> of course somebody had... To, of course Perpy had to donate $2 just to say that. Like I said, guys, I may or may not, and I'm not going to spoil if I do or not. There's going to be at least one, possibly two... I'm going to limit myself to two new novels at this point, for January at least. At max, two new novels... That I will be reading starting in January. And luckily these novels are at a point where I could probably start them and it won't make much of a difference. So? <laughs> I should also be like, oh, socially awkward, maybe, maybe not. I'm trying to think of other novels that I've considered. Um, hmm. Expect it, Dirk. Expect it. <laughs> of course. Anyway, let's get back to the reading. We are in a nightmare, and of course, we are game over because I didn't want Dave's dad to turn into Jack, and he did. Makes me very sad. <sighs> like your dad? Oh yeah, real helpful, like your dead dad, Dave. Hmm, super chat. Okay. Oh yeah, happy birthday, that guy in the chat. I am horrible for not wishing Cormo happy birthday exactly at midnight. Sorry, Cormo. Happy birthday! <laughs> anyway, we need to... We need to calm ourselves from the festivities and get serious for Dave's existential crisis. All right. When I looked around, I was sitting on the sofa while Jack looked around the room, as if he knew the place. Be honest with yourself, Dave. Your dad was the hero. 
the police officer. That that time that aged well. That that line aged very well. Your brother, an accomplished surgeon, but you, a child. <laughs> What, what, what do you got against children? <laughs> I, I know it's supposed to be like, he hasn't accomplished much, but that just sounds so dumb. Like, you your parents have grown up and done things. You're only a child who just finished high school. Look at you being so unaccomplished. If Jack was talking to me, he'd be like, look at your parents. One of them, an engineer, your mom, an accomplished, or well, at least a well, a well-beloved teacher. You? Somebody who can't even land a goddamn internship to save his life. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Love you, too. Well, technically, I landed that internship. That's, like, part of a school course. Like, it was weird. It... Anyway. <laughs> but you, a child. I'm... I'm more than that. Aren't I? Are you? Compared to your friends, you're nothing special. Even Dyson has more going for him and he dropped out of school. <laughs> the thing I asked about if they graduated high school, I guess he dropped out. Yikes. When I do not know and I feel very sad. I've... I've got to be. And what if you can't? What if I can't? Maybe you're better off dead. Yeah. Maybe I'm better off dead. That's it, Dave. God damn it. Um, it'll be all over soon. I lifted my head and look, or I lifted my head to look at him, and he approached me with that knife. I was frozen to the spot, and I could feel something prickling at my neck. It felt so natural. My breath picking up, along with it, my heartbeat. All as I closed my eyes and waited for Jack to do what he did, almost did to me in the forest. Some part deep down expected a gunshot, but I knew it wouldn't come. Just give up, Dave. Let whatever happens, happen. I sat up suddenly in bed. I knew it! <laughs> I said that too much in a Jack voice. Oh no. <laughs> I was Jack the whole time! <laughs> takes off my head, takes off my mask. I'm Jack. <laughs> I'm Jack the Rabbit. Uh, wouldn't that be a horrible twist on this channel? So, I sat up suddenly in bed. As I try and readjust some windows. Just trying to find a good place to put this window. Um, yeah, close enough, screw it. <laughs> You're going there. I sat up suddenly in bed. My hand went to my chest and I was already breathing hard. I felt hot and what I hoped was just sweaty as my eyes... I felt hot and what I hoped was just sweaty as my eyes darted about the room. Not sure what that means, but we're moving on. I swear, I'm going to start writing down how many times they say the let whatever happens happen line. <laughs> If it was a drinking game, we would all be dead. And somebody says, notification, Dirk the Red Panda is live. <laughs> nice. I'm live. I'm sorry I'm not reading the regular chats as much, because they're not, like, you know, the super chats, it's like you see them in color, and you're like, it pops out, and then you just get back into the reading, and... <laughs> uh, they do this on purpose, I swear. I say Feliz Cumpleaños already, but I'll say it again. Happy birthday. 
And Koromaru says, no, it's fine. I was wondering if you would see it, lol. But thank you, Burpee, and everyone else. So everybody give that Koromaru doggy a happy birthday. He drew me, and that was very cool of him. I was very happy. <laughs> and I could have sent, like, ten one dollars. <laughs> no, that would have been... <laughs> Oh, you could have, but honestly, that would be just absolute chaos. Someday I'll donate a hundred dollars and you won't expect it. <laughs> I will fight you. And if I win, I'll give you the hundred dollars. <laughs> Here, here's a fight. If I beat you in a fight, I give you money. <laughs> Sounds fair? Sounds fair. All right, so scrolling back down. Popping in for just a few to say hi to Dirk. Hi, Amarul. I'm sorry I did not see this earlier. You are my favorite voice actor in regards to visual novels readings. Keep up the good work. Thank you. <laughs> I said it wasn't a competition. I'm already done with it. I can't pay anymore. I, I could if I would, but I just can't. Like I said before, I'll say anything's enough. And it's just nice to see you guys just even talking in the chat just normally. Okay. Dean or Tyson, both better come for me. Jack, it's your turn to die, and I'm the key master, so you can't vote for me. <laughs> Jack be looking sus. And man, has he improved. Aww. <laughs> Joke's on you, I get off on torture. <laughs> Cheryl from Archer. Oh, God. Jackception. Okay. Mm. Super chat. Almost broke my phone from tapping the screen. <laughs> nice. And then Perpy donated another $2 saying, Senpai, Dirk, my body is ready. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. But thank you for the donation. <laughs> if, your if your name is George Washington, your body is ready. Or at least your head, because that's the portrait of the dollar bill. Good joke, me. And happy birthday to the person Dirk says happy birthday to. Yes, happy birthday to Cormar once again. If I beat you in a fight, I give you the money. So America towards defeated enemy nations in World War II. <laughs> yep. Sums it up. Don't we all just give money to each other? Yeah, this is technically last month's update, but I don't think... Uh, day 15 has been updated. Might as well check now. Password by Grizz. A visual novel. Any, everybody take a break right now to take a piss as I look through this. No, this is the 0.26. Yeah. This is 0.26. So, day 14, path A, B. Day 12, path C, D. Yep, we are at the most current date. Just double checking for you guys. Once again, sorry for the delay. This is just a time to just relax. Perpy donated another $2 saying, Did you watch the Game Awards? I did not watch the Game Awards. I heard that Among Us won like Best Game of the Year or something. That's all I heard on like Twitter. But okay, seriously, I gotta get back into this. <clears throat> Where was I? What happened? <laughs> what time was it? Hmm. Super chat. And there's the $2 donation notification. Donation notification, donation notification. Say that three times fast and your mind will blow up. My mind was still racing with what happened in the forest, how I'd gotten back if barely, and what would have happened if I'd only been a little slower. I gulped. Hand going to my neck right where I could still feel the very edge of Jack's knife threatening my throat. As my fingers tightened around my neck, I wheezed in panic for what I'd only just avoided. Everything I'd just seen was a dream. Or at least I hoped so. Struggling to piece together what had happened to end up in my room, the door opened. <gasps> You! 
And why is everybody not like dissolving or fading in? Everybody's just like quick snapping. Yeah, everybody's just quick snapping in. Not sure if that was intentional or not, but we move on nonetheless. I will stop being critical of Grizz's work because I am reading it and having a blast reading it. And Nicholas has got to bounce. Thank you so much for coming, Nick. Like, or Nicholas, not sure if you want me to call you Nick, but yeah. Thank you so much for coming, Nicholas, and it's great to see you, and have a good night, day, whatever you are in. Continuing on, he closed the door slowly behind him, eyes on me as he gauged what my reaction would be. My eyes narrowed as he approached the bed, sitting down. I expected him to say something. But instead, we sat in silence for a few minutes while it seemed he tried to figure out what best to say. Are you alright? I went to speak, but found myself clutching my chest, groaning in pain instead. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> as I say the opposite. God damn it. It's a joke. I'll take that as a no. You were very lucky out there, Dave. A moment later on anything that happened and you'd likely be... Well... He wasn't helping. And if anything, the pain in my chest was increasing the more he spoke. I should apologize for injecting you as I did. None were too impressed that I was ready to sedate you the way I did. But I'd rather be disliked for a bit than risk you going into cardiac arrest. It'd be a shame that after Benson intervened. I frowned at him, the pain in my chest slowly improving to more of a dull throb. While uncomfortable, it was sinking and that I was somewhat safer than what I was how... While uncomfortable, it was sinking in that I was somewhat safer than what I was. However long ago it was, I'd arrived back at the mansion. Running on, sentence. I'm not helping. I know. However, I'm here on my own want. The others demanded I apologize, but I answered to no one. <laughs> Sounds like the... Do I have to make a political joke? God damn it. I will just say, politicians, am I right? Got him. <laughs> well, except for Benson when I feel so inclined. He caught at me. He caught at me. He got me smirking a little, taking it in his stride. That aside, I do want you to... <laughs> take three, <laughs> or take two and a half. That aside, I do want you to know you're safe. You slept somewhat well through the night, as we've been taking turns watching over you. <laughs> I'd like to think about that. All my friends are watching over me. Anyway. <laughs> it's about mid-morning. No sign of... him yet. Although Benson's been keeping watch. My breath hastened as panic started to creep in again. Oswin catching the chance of my composure near immediately. Which I should say is a good thing given with Benson around no harm shall come to you. He has already killed at least a dozen of my detractors. I can't say why, but I can promise that's the truth. <laughs> like I said, I feel like Benson is secretly a spy, and we all know it. I should turn the camera around so you get a better view of me. Let me just double check to see if my camera looks okay. Or my camera lighting. That's good. I have like a desk lamp that helps light this up better because otherwise without it, it would look kind of dingy. 
like that. <laughs> this is my only source of lighting, is a light right above the camera and behind it. I can't say why, but I can promise that's the truth. He placed a hand on my shoulder and rubbed it gently. Although all it did was make me tense up. Not that he seemed to care. I'm afraid to say it, Dave. Today might be a bit rough. Your friends have many questions, and truth be told, so do I. We weren't out there. What happened? He pulled his hand away, and immediately I went to speak, finding my words catching in my throat. Run! Run as fast as you can! I clutched my head, groaning. <laughs> I clutched my heart. My head! <laughs> I clutched my head. I... The campsite. The mill. Jack. My hand and... My hand instinctively went to the spot my hoodie pouch would have been to get the syringe for protection. If you're looking for... What your friends found. They've confiscated it. I overheard Haas mentioning something about it, but didn't see what it was. Dave. Believe me, it's taken me everything I have not to grill you for information now. But... Well... I believe that after you've proven the vault works, I have little place to do so. Why? It hurt to talk. My throat was dry, like I hadn't had water in days. Here you go, Dave. Have some water. Actually, I'll just have some for you. In ASMR fashion. Dark drinks water. Playing Dave. ASMR. Like and subscribe for more content like that. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> what would happen if I turned myself into an ASMR channel? Like, would you guys actually, like, support that type of channel? <laughs> These, those yeses probably weren't for that question I just asked, but <laughs> they were probably just yesing over the ASMR. Cringe. And then somebody says hydration is important. Hydration is cringe. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> None taken. Is it water or secretly wine, I wonder? <laughs> no, I'm not Amicus. I don't have a full bottle of wine. Like in the Haps and, uh, what's the other guy? What's the other guy's name? Is it Cage? I thought it was Cage or something like that. The creator for Far Beyond the Woods or Far, Far Beyond the Woods, Far Beyond the World. Like the create, both of those creators did a tr art trade with Amicus and Ranok. I was about to say Ragnar <laughs> with Ranok and Amicus together. And it looks so awesome, both of theirs. And I'm like, ah. God, it's like, those characters are amazing. <laughs> and I want to give them all hugs. <laughs> well, Wolfheart is right. It is important. <laughs> Hydration. Very important. Anyway, let's continue on back to the story. It hurt to talk. My throat was dry like I hadn't had water in days. Hmm. Super chat. Dave, if the vault worked the way it did, and you hadn't seen something that marked the event, then perhaps this wasn't traumatic enough. My fists tightened around the bed sheets, 
jaws clenched and baring teeth at him. And I feel it was weird to kind of interrupt with the super chat. Like, not you, I meant just, it was weird. It was kind of a weird time for me to figure out when to interrupt for mentioning the super chat. Sorry. <laughs> Perpy donated another $2 saying Roswell was supposed to be in this scene. Okay, <laughs> not sure. Maybe that's like a path B thing. So somebody says, drinking my problems away, be like, <laughs> hey, hey, who can relate? I'll bring out the gay mug if there is a coffee scene again. Deal? <laughs> ah, why does my smile feel like I'm off? Like, like I'm going to the left or the right. Maybe because I'm like turning. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely an alternate version. Yeah, lights well, helping me confirm that. Yeah, because it's like there's a path A and B which have a day 14. I'm assuming that's probably for path B. <laughs> hey, Dirk, how's it going, man? Going great right now. How about you? <laughs> I heard gay mug. I can relate. Anyway. Or more accurately, this could be just the result of something else intervening. I didn't understand, frowning and trying to form another word, but instead falling into a coughing fit. Or it just could be a case that of you not having the time to go to potentially test the vault. You've been out of the mansion more than once in the last few days. Shit has happened, indeed. Why hadn't I gone to the vault? Had I been that distracted to not warrant going to even check it? Or had I not been that dist had I been that distracted to not warrant going to even check it? As I thought, I remembered wandering down to the main road. The thoughts I had at the cliff, then again at the river. If the vault was keeping everyone alive, including myself, then did I not use it because I didn't want to survive? That is an interesting thing. Interesting concept. I whined, a throbbing in my chest sinking down into my stomach and back up again. Over and over to the point that it made me feel sick. Dave. Did you want me to leave? I didn't look at him, not really sure how to respond. Dave, you should rest. I could medicate you so you could drift off, but only if you need the assistance. I also have a hammer in case you need that type of assistance to go to sleep. Alternatively, I can just inform the others that you're still resting. <laughs> Dave, it's me, Dave. No, Dave, I'm David. Not Dave. I'm my own father? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just very funny to see. <laughs> the sentience is false. Uh, gotta love my chat. Again, I stayed quiet. My decision came in the form of me laying back down and rolling over so I was facing away from him. Cuddling into my pillow in an attempt for comfort, I felt Oswin leave the bed and walk away, only sure that he left the room when I heard the door open and then close once more. Ah, this bliss of sleep. At some point I blacked out again, swimming in my thoughts. Had the drug really been that potent, or was I that exhausted that I couldn't tell anymore? It was almost like I was floating, sinking down into an inky black like I was in an ocean meant only for me. My street came into view, just as I remembered it. There wasn't really any issue with me going outside to play growing up. I liked outside for the most part. 
Next door, what used to be Roswell's house was still there, although I never went inside. It was always easier to have him come inside given how often Dad was around to make sure we stayed out of trouble. Speaking of, Tyson's house was several doors down and looked much the same after many years. Tyson had changed, but his house sure hadn't. Orlando had come over. Haas had only... Haas had to, if only once. Sal was probably the only one that hadn't been over. Not that there really was much to show these days. Hell, even Dean had driven by to pick me up on one of our outings, but never had the nerve to come inside. Or maybe he was just waiting for an invitation that I never thought to offer. Damn it, I'm gonna have to say it. <laughs> no reading in ASMR, Dirk. Your voice will get me off, damn it. <laughs> no, this is not a bad ending, at least not one that we can tell at this point. It should be 30 days, according to the password creator. So, <laughs> we are going to continue on. But the days of people coming over were long over, shy of Tyson, who'd come over to keep me company, I'd rather not be in the house. The living room was one place I didn't like to spend my time anymore. I hurried through it on my way to the kitchen, or from the front door up to my room upstairs. Then there was my room, a comfy bed, an adjoining room, an adjoining bathroom, my desk littered with different pots of paint, not that I had used most of the colors these days. Wow, very deep, man. Love it. I wasn't colorblind. Or at least I didn't think so. <laughs> the entire, the whole plot was the password is that he's colorblind and that's why all the backgrounds are black and white. He's like, shit, I've been colorblind this whole time. I wasn't colorblind. Or at least I didn't think so. Some years ago when I noticed mom and dad acting different around one another, some of them just started to look the same. Not that it didn't stop me from getting things in different colors. I like color. <laughs> I kept a few special things I'd collected in the top drawer of my desk, all in various shades of blue, but these days, they all look the same. Dad? I turned around and there he was, standing in the doorway of my bedroom, looking proud of himself. Why did you have to die? There wasn't an answer to that question, but I asked it anyway. He couldn't answer. And instead, all I could see was the face he pulled when he wasn't sure of something and worried that he was letting me down. My friends might coddle me, but I paid attention to what people felt. What they did when they were sad. Maybe not as good as Haas was at picking up how people were behaving, but I knew basic things. It was a question that was stumping me from the mood movement jesus it was a question that was stumping me from the moment i was told maybe i just refer <laughs> i can't read I, I i think about how many times i've done streams with like or readings with fbn and shin like that channel and seen shin like stutter over words or whatnot and i'm like man i remember the days i did that with ave Adastrians and stuttering all the time being the narrator is so hard when you have so many things to say Especially when you're a one-man team doing this all by yourself. <laughs> Not the Ave Adashians thing, this thing. Anyway, it was a question that was stumping me from the moment I was told. Maybe I just refused the answer in favor of just hoping Dad would end up coming home. If I wasn't broken enough, the cemetery finished me off. The only thing I could think of from that day is how Mom looked in the tightness of Ty's hand holding mine. It's funny, given until now I hadn't considered that maybe I hadn't cried then. I knew Mom didn't, 
So maybe without Dad, I just copied what she was doing because I didn't know how to process what was happening. When I woke up, I felt different. Not better, but different. Sitting up, I swung my legs over to the side of the bed and rubbed my head, grasping out another breath before pushing myself to my feet. I put on a shirt and in a daze, slumped there on the floor of my room, staring at the ceiling. Almost too relatable to me. If I left, I'd be asked questions that I didn't want to answer. Not that I was waiting long before the door opened. Dave? Oh god, what happened? Why are you on the floor? I sat up slowly, looking at him. Orlando was nice, a great friend, and a lovely shade of yellow. I always thought he was orange. I'm the colorblind one this whole time! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I mean, it is more of like an orange tint of gold, I'd say. Like, it's more on the orange side of gold. You know what I mean, where it's like, you can tell, tell a color is closer to like the next color next. You know what I mean? <laughs> a lovely shade of yellow. I couldn't smell the cinnamon, so maybe I was still dreaming. He came to sit next to me on the floor, carefully moving my head around so he could look at me. Are you okay? I didn't have the heart to answer him knowing that I couldn't say anything positive, leaving my answer as a gradual look towards the floor and a sigh. Well, I'm happy you're alive. Once again, I left his comment without a reply, instead watching him stand back up and then to the hand he offered out to me. Come on, let's... let's head downstairs. Er, let's head downstairs. Everyone will want to... Um... He trailed off, slowly easing back his head. Okay. It was all I could say. Anything more and I was afraid that I'd start coughing. If I could ask for anything, it would be water. Water. It hydrates you. But I relished the excuse to not have it to say anything and wanted to hold on to it as long as I could. <laughs> as I hold on to my water. Reaching out for Orlando, he offered his hand again, and I took it gingerly. It was warm, and he propped me up so I was standing. Dave, I... He sighed out, visibly torn between wanting to hug me and give me my space. They're waiting. Each step I took felt heavy, with Orlando standing beside me. He said nothing else. Instead, just lingering nearby just in case. Maybe if I fell over, maybe he, maybe he was sent to ensure I arrived. I don't know. I didn't know. As we got closer, I could hear the others talking among themselves. From their tone, it seemed like a serious discussion, if in hushed tones. Maybe in case I overheard them, but for the most part, I was processing it as a white noise. Then I arrived in the dining room, causing a hush to fall over the group. If he asks for coffee or any sort of mug, I am getting the gay mug out. Everyone was here. Although it seemed Oswin was lingering near the back, looking thoughtful about something. My friends, though, each wore a look of worry as I looked to each of them in turn. There was a tightness in my chest, 
lingering even as I crossed the floor to sit down in the chair reserved for me. I kept my eyes on the table, waiting for what was to happen. I caught Haas patting Orlando on the shoulder, and he approached, sighing out. All right, there's no easy way to say this, Dave. But what happened yesterday? Or, but what happened yesterday? That's not funny. You scared the hell out of all of us and... Well, we're all lucky you're still here. Remaining quiet, I opted instead to look at everyone else, finding each of them catching my eye before looking away. You make a show of going off and no one caring? Then you do it again yesterday and almost die coming back. None of us know what's going on, but you've changed since you arrived. None of us know what's going on, but you've changed since we arrived. Why? I know. This was my idea and all, but I didn't think you'd grill him so hard when you agreed, Haas. I didn't think so either. Holy crap, Haas. Now you're the one that's looking like a dick. Did you not catch the part where he almost died, Roswell? It's bad enough that our phone reception has been cut for whatever reason. I'm just going to walk away now. <laughs> As we have day 12 flashbacks. Or no, day 11 flashbacks. Yeah. No, wait. 12, 11, what, whatever the freaking day it is. Whatever that day was that we played, that was the bad route. Anyway. It's bad enough that our phone reception has been cut for whatever reason. I hadn't thought to check my phone, but carefully my hand went to my pocket, finding that I'd left my phone upstairs. If there was no reception anymore, how were we meant... How were we meant... Excuse me, I can't read. If there was no reception anymore, how were we meant to call for help from... Him. I don't mean anything by it, but... Maybe you should be a little more gentle. Look at him. Now they were talking like I couldn't understand them. My eyes went to Dean, and he quickly looked away again. Instead, looking to Haas. Just... Come on. You can be nicer about it, Haas. Ugh, fine. Dave, what's been going on? No one's told me anything, so I... No one's told me anything, so I'm left here to figure this all out, but after yesterday? I... Guess it's because it's not ours to tell. <laughs> the one time Ro Russell is being redeemed. <laughs> and can I just say how bullshit that is? Okay, I'm sorry, but if my friend is upset, hurting, or even dying, it sucks that I have to just sit by and watch because everyone else is too... Something to fill me in on it. Okay, you're dying, but I hate that I have to watch you die, man. That fucking sucks, man. <laughs> what is this argument? This is the worst argument I've seen in the entire Password series. Russell has had some pretty shit moments, but holy crap, Haas, you are taking the cake this time. And then Dean metamorphosized into Tyson. Drop it, Haas. I will not. Look at him. He's sitting there in a daze, and who cannot or and who can blame him? He barely escapes death, gets drugged the moment he gets inside, and does anyone remember the last time he ate? And then Russell metamorphosized into Sal. Hmm. Daze. At least. Not unless he's been sneaking food when no one else is around. Breatharians, cough, cough. Right? Sal tried catching my eye, but I shied away. Shying away. Take a... No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not right now. He was right. And even now, I wasn't all that hungry. Am I going crazy, or is no one else nearly worried enough about this? Okay, I was a bit confused if he was, like, blaming Dave and being like, why aren't you saying more? Okay, I misunderstood the argument. That was not the worst argument in all of Password. Like, 
I thought he was like, Dave, why are you being so sad about dying? You almost died, but do you know how I had to feel about you dying? I literally thought Haas was saying that, and I freaking lost it. That would be the worst friend ever. Yeah, Haas is more angry about being left out of the loop. Now, I, now I'm starting to click that, but holy crap, I was so lost. Oh boy. I need Dirk I need Dirk to sing a whole song once. You do not want to hear me sing a whole song once. <laughs> I mean, I did sing that song once during that Adastra episode. I sang a I sang a Johnny Logan song. And thank god it didn't get taken down. Because I didn't play the music. But I sang it. I sang all the lyrics. And boy, I was okay. I was very mediocre. <laughs> but I really want to sing on my channel again sometime. Ah, I've had so many ideas in my head, but I'm nervous about the copyright and stuff. It's like, ah, can I just sample and like, you know, do my covers on here? You know, they don't have to be like monetized or anything. Like they, they could just be off, but just as like a passion thing, like, come on, can't people just do it and just look at it? And just share my creativeness? <laughs> Dirk for Eurovision. <laughs> yes. You. That would be fun. I even have an idea for a song, but I'm trying to maybe implement it into my visual novel for a kind of a version of a song contest that's going to be in the novel. I still need to figure it out. <laughs> I will give you $50 when I can. <laughs> or, sorry, the visual novel is cutting it off. I will give you $50 when I can if you post one whole song video. <laughs> Oh boy, that would be fun. Uh, depends on the song then, I guess. Like, is there a limit to what song choices I have? I'm curious, but if it's anything, I can go crazy. But back to the, back to the story. Mm -mm. Fine, he's sad. We'll just pick him back up. Or, did I say that right? Fine, he's sad. We'll just pick him back up. Dude. He's sad? That's the best you can do? Ty tensed up and I tried to catch his eye. Instead, he just stared Haas down to little effect. Well, Dave? Mind explaining this? Dun dun dun! <laughs> it's the syringe! In plain view of everyone, Haas set down the syringe and the bottle I had found in the woods on the table. <laughs> I just had to get my fix, man! Well? Oswin marched his way down the length of the room the moment Haas finished talking. He moved with purpose, swiping up both and turning it over into his hand. What in the world? What in the world? How did you get this? I went to explain, but couldn't find the words. It was easy to say that I, could, that I just found them in the woods, but the words just didn't come. It's fine. I'll go run a test on this vial to see if what's on the label matches up. Benson, if you would give me a hand. I feel like this talk is one best had without us present. Very well, sir. Take as long as you need with your... talk. The two of them left, taking with them what I had found in the woods away but not before everyone had had a good chance to see exactly what Haas had presented. Please tell me this wasn't what fell out of Dave's pocket. I don't want to take him to counseling. But, uh, God, my voice. But, I don't understand. What? Where? Why'd you have something like this? Did you go out in the woods to use it to- I looked at Dean and he was staring, shaking and scared. His eyes were locked on me, and I knew why given what I was- er, and I knew why given what I asked him almost a week ago. You didn't. Dave, talk to us. Did- did you try to- no, he... 
I refuse to believe it. Dave won't kill himself. <laughs> Suicide. I hung my head in shame. How far does one have to go in order to have... Tried? Had I even tried or just thought about it? Well, it sure looks like he tried. Why else would he try injecting himself with a disease? I... I don't know. Have we all just been... Bad friends? Ha sighed out, running his hand through his mane. Oh, this can't be our fault. At least not entirely, right? I'd like to think Dave won't tell us if we did... Or, I'd like to think Dave would tell us if we did something. Right, but he hasn't, so... Maybe this is all just for a big mis... Right, but he hasn't, so... Maybe this is all just a big misunderstanding. Maybe, but... He is right here. No need to talk about him like he's not here. I may as well have not been there with how the words remained lost somewhere in my head. God, what was there to say? What possible excuse could I have had? I closed my eyes and sighed out quietly while the others continued to talk. They weren't saying much, just bickering about why I had what I had and speculating on if I had planned to kill myself. They were worried, panicking that they were about to lose me, maybe. I just wish I wasn't already lost in my own head that I could tell them that I was alright. It's alright. Let go, Dave. Let them die. Let whatever happens, happen. Those words again. The first ones uttered by someone that sounded like Dad and they were... Comforting. Maybe it was just the reassurance that things were okay. Maybe it was the permission that I was allowed to not be constantly on guard. The second, though... I couldn't place the voice, but it was familiar. Maybe not Dad, or even Mom, but... Maybe more like me. I wasn't sure. I opened my eyes again, looking at the others. Tyson had Haas, or Tyson had Haas by the scruff, and in turn Dean had his. They were fighting over something someone said, I think. Roswell was holding his nose, and Orlando was rubbing his back, all the while Sal acted as a barrier between them and the other three. Sorry? Oh, that was my next line! <laughs> but seriously. Sorry. All at once, they stopped to stare at me, and once more, my eyes went down to the table. Don't worry about it, Dave. Well, hang on. I want to know what he's sorry for. He apologized. Leave him alone. We're not getting into this again. We can't help him if he doesn't let us in. But you can't force it. What if you just make it worse? I clutched my chest, feeling my heart beat faster from the stress. What, what can I say? What would make all this stop? Unless you're going to explain what's wrong with him, then I'm going to keep pushing until I can latch onto something that will let me help him. I looked at Tyson, pleading with him silently. I couldn't be the one to explain. If I did, it'd make it more real. You sure? He had his eyes on me, waiting for me to do something hinting one way or the other. All it took was a nod, and he sighed out, scratching his head. <sighs> Shit. I didn't think I'd have to be the one to do this, but... Alright. See, the thing is... 
I didn't need to listen to Tyson's version of it. I can remember it vividly in my head like it happened only a couple minutes ago. It was like any other normal day, really. I just didn't think it'd become as bad as it did. Dave! Mind giving me a hand for a sec? But Dad! TV! Since when did TV trump your old man? I laughed, grinning broadly as I lay back on the sofa. I don't know, TV is pretty good. <laughs> so generic. Dad wandered out of the kitchen to stand in the doorway leading into the lounge room. Oh, is it now? Come on, champ. Come on, my little pog champ. I did it. I made the joke. Do you guys love me now? <laughs> Come on, champ. Please? Uh, well, only because you said please. We both laughed and I got up off the sofa, wondering closer. I remember him throwing his arm over my shoulder as I got close enough when we wandered into the kitchen. So, what do you need, Dad? I'm trying to find the takeout menus. Use Grubhub. God damn it. What, what the, the moment when you realized DoorDash could have saved his life? Oh God, that's awful to think. When delivery could have saved his life. I'm trying to find the takeout menus. Wait, that's all? They should be in the bottom drawer. That's what I thought. But they aren't there. Huh. Uh, maybe Mom moved them? She better have not moved them, I swear to God! <laughs> She's picky enough as it is, and I have quite a collection going to make sure there was variety. It'd be nice if we had got to have another family meal together again. Usually it's just me and Ty. Sometimes you and if Mom's around, it's just her and me. Well, you do know how work is for both of us. We'd love to be here. Or at least, I know I would. After all, how would I not like spending time with my favorite son? Super chat. Perpy the Cat donated $2 saying, I have no idea what's happening. Does Dave have PTSD? I think that's what's happening. I think he's flashing back to the day that... His dad died, and this is kind of telling us how it happened. He sure does have PTSD. Yes, he does. Anyway, after all, how would I not like spending time with my favorite son? Dad, I'm your only son. Well, I guess so. Maybe I should adopt Tyson so you, should ha so you could have some competition. <laughs> Don't you dare. Again, we both laughed as we scoured the kitchen for the menus. I hadn't thought much about the statement until now. The thought of Tyson officially becoming family somehow felt... Right. Not that there was any chance of that really happening now. What he, What have we... Blah, 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 blah. What we had worked fine enough, and we didn't need to share a last name of it either. So, what are your plans for tonight? I'm... Assuming the same as usual. I'll cut up on homework. <laughs> as I look at my homework board. I'm not. I'll cut up on homework. So maybe I'll get some paper and make something. More homework! <laughs> Dave's just like obsessed with homework. He's like, I need more homework. Tyson's still coming over? Um, was he always coming over? When he, when is he not over, sport? Either way, I invited him over. Got stuff to ask him anyway. What kind of stuff? Guy stuff. Man stuff. The man's 
The man's thinking. Uh, great. I'm a guy, so you can tell me too. Well? I stopped looking for the menu to turn to him. He was scratching his chin and thinking it over. Maybe when you're older. Great. Great, I'm a second older now. So do I qualify? Not yet. And now? Nope. How about now? So help me, David, I will turn this car around. <laughs> Dude, why do they have such a good relationship? What? This, this is like unreal. I don't have this good of a relationship with my dad. Holy crap. And so, it was good seeing you, but I need my rest. Good night, Dirk. Good night, Kurt. I'm gonna have to say this, I'm so sorry. That I'm bad at pronouncing names. Kur it's just hard to make out Kurushikudu. Okay. Good night, Kurushikudu. Nailed it. Mmm. <laughs> Guy stuff. Drools. Perpy the Cat donated $2. Thank you for that $2 and the $2 from a few seconds ago, or minutes, whatever. Mm. Super chat. Anyway. Once again, we broke out into a laughing fit and almost immediately I heard dad's telltale gasp of triumph. <laughs> if mom had hit the damn menus better, this wouldn't have happened. Score one for dad. Menus have been found. Aren't you at work tonight? Why are you looking for menus now, anyway? Well, or what? Can't I buy dinner for my favorite son and his... Not boyfriend friend? Oh, wrong line. Did I just go backwards? Whatever. And his? I tilted my head. Curious. Competition? Dad... What, am I not allowed to treat you to some food if I want? That's one of the perks of being a dad, I have you know. I'm not going to turn down free food, but I can relate. I don't know, seems kind of strange. Do you even know what I want to order? Nope, but I can solve that by just getting everything I... Er, nope, but I can solve that by just getting everything I'd get. Well, if Ty's coming over, are we getting dinner for him too? <laughs> nope, we are too broke. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yep. Can't have him going hungry now, can we? Of course not. Should I wander down and see if he's coming or... You could just shoot him a message on your phone. But outside... Fine, but don't go getting hip. Are you freaking kidding me? Don't go get hit by fuck. But don't go get fuck fuck. Fine, but don't go getting hit by a car or talk to strangers or get lost or set anything on fire. <laughs> don't pull a Yuichi. I swear to God, I just spoiled something for somebody who does not play the tennis ace. Uh, that's... His house is only just down the street. Awfully suspicious that you're not readily pr promising a police officer that you won't go causing trouble. Well, maybe I will go cause trouble. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to cause all the trouble. <laughs> I'll put recycling in the trash and say mean words to someone. You dork. <laughs> That's me. Go on. Go see what Tyson's doing and I'll see you in a bit. But please, don't go causing trouble. I know you won't, but... Gotta do the dad thing. I know. Er, no. <laughs> Dave's dad now. I know. Promise, dad. For just wandering down the street, I went without shoes. Just like me. It was a warm enough day, and I walked 
the path down to Tyson's house enough times that I could almost do it blindfolded. But like most times I went over, I had to be careful. Mostly because dad, or mostly because his dad was someone that I didn't really like being around. Hmm. Super chat. He smelt funny and was mostly just angry. He's always angry with his angry juice. Who, what is that angry juice? As chance would have it, though, Ty was just sitting outside on his front deck. And then Perby the Cat donated $2 consecutively. First $2 is... Hmm. Oh, no, wait. You already did that one. The next one is... Is it wrong that I just... Or, is I just... Is it wrong that I lust over Tyson? There is nothing wrong over lusting for Tyson. He is very high in my best boy list. Yes, great, more car crash references. What is it with all these visual novels and having car crashes? It's like the Shrek meme. Could you not have a car crash for five minutes? And that is basically visual novel summed up. It will be my goal as a visual novel dev to not have car crashes. And then I accidentally write a car crash somehow. I don't know, that'd be so sad. All right, we are continuing on. But like most times... Okay, yeah, Ty was just sitting out on the front deck. Ty! His ears perked up when he noticed me. Not that I was hard to miss, but he seemed to have been distracted with his phone. Kids and their phones! <laughs> oh, hey! What's going on? His phone went off and he checked it again before shoving it into his pocket. As for me, I leaned on the fence, watching him. Apparently, I'm babysitting tonight. Well, hey, it's a job, right? Although, who'd let you babysit? <laughs> Your dad, apparently. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it took a second for the comment to sink in, and I huffed as Ty got up and joined me for the walk back. <laughs> oh god, I just snort there. I'm such a dork. Is your dad not around? Worked this morning, then promptly passed out drunk after an hour of getting home. It, if it didn't smell so strong inside, I'd let you hang out. Tempting, but... Alternatively, dad's apparently ordering us food for dinner. Oh yeah? What's he going with? Apparently what he'd order. He admitted he doesn't know what I normally want, so he's deciding for me. <laughs> Dude, even you barely know what you want unless we order from that one place that only does fried chicken. Even then it's a pain getting you to pick what sauce packets come with it. But there's so many! There's like... Six, Dave. That's so many! <laughs> God damn it! I feel called out! Remind me not to suggest- Remind me to not to- Remind me to not to suggest you pick first on anything ever, then? I'll get better at it eventually, just... I don't know. Why pick when all the options are good? He's pulling a Yuichi! Stop it, Dave! Never thought about how many of them have car crashes. Hmm. Well, you are Dirk the Dork, and we like you regardless, Dirk. Aw, oh, thanks, Mogrim. I'm a main character. I was in a car crash. Then I was frozen for 500 years. Oh no, PTSD. Oh no, look at my hair my furry boys that are not human. No, PTSD gone, the end. What? What did I just read? Oh, Light is still here, saying, It's been a crazy busy week, so I'm not going to make it to the end of the stream. No, oof. I'm gonna try, I have to say this, this is assumably some sort of Welsh? Maybe? No star is... Is it? No, is it? No star is agreed? <laughs> Sue me if I'm wrong. 
He's so... He's always so sweet with his foreign language greetings and saying goodbyes. Ah, such a sweet, sweet person to talk to. Love the guy. Is there another update for Far Beyond the World soon? Man, there's like only three updates so far, I'd say, in the game itself in general. Like, So if or if not I did it then I wouldn't be too far behind, fortunately. So, worst comes to worst, I'd just binge it one day and be like, here's Far Beyond the World if I played it. Or I'd just not play it at all because it'd be too far behind. I may have to drop the bad route for Password. Not the... Not the Tyson route or the Dean route, but, like, the bad, like... The bad Day 12 route that I was doing before. I may have to drop that if I get too busy with stuff. So, I may stick to my only good roots policy again. So, anyway. I'll get better at it eventually. Just, I don't know. Why pick when you, all the options are good? Dad, we're back! Oh, really? Yes? His eyes went from me to Tyson, still awkwardly standing in the doorway. Well, come in, come in. No need to be that nervous. Aw, Tyson! Tyson, why you gotta be so nervous? We love you, Tyson. Uh, uh, hey, David. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Uh, back? And to you as well, Mr. Back. God damn it. <laughs> Why is he such a dad? It took a moment of him rubbing me vigorously on the head to clue me in on what he meant. That one flew way over my head. No, bad dad joke. Bad dad. <laughs> I'm your best dad. I'll have you know. You're my only dad. Still counts. Ty closed the door behind him and shuffled past the stand in the middle of the living room instead of blocking the front entrance. We both watched as he then slumped down on the sofa, rubbing his face. Hey, what's the matter, bud? Something got you down. Nah, I'm fine. Well... If that ever changes, just let me know. But for now, what do my two favorite guys want for dinner? Ty's face lit back up. Aw, his tail thumping on the sofa. God damn it, it's so happy. It's so wholesome to see Tyson this happy. <laughs> ah, God, I love him. What happened to picking what you'd order? But there are so many good options, I couldn't decide. <laughs> oh, it's hereditary. God, you two are alike. Guess you're the one that, t that gets to pick tonight, Tyson. What will it be, champ? God, he's so... Oh, it's so sweet when he calls us champ. Dad handed over his net... Neat, neat, neck, what? Dad handed over his neat stack of menus over to Tyson to look through while he turned to me. What do you think he's going to pick? Huh, don't know. Probably from another chicken place. Or probably from the chicken place. The one where you the one where they get out or the one where they get it all crispy and then dust it with a seasoning salt, or the one that comes with the from the military rooster place. I can hear you, you know. Busted. All three of us laughed. Why is it? It's like, God, it's like palpable how wholesome this is. Why do I feel like I'm missing out on something when I'm reading this? All three of us laughed. I missed laughing that heartily and nothing had really gotten me in the mood to do so in a long time. I'll leave you guys to it. I'm gonna get something done real quick, and I'll be back to place the order for dinner before I get ready for work. Alright, catch you in a bit. Aw. 
So, dinner. Hey, I'm still picking. Cut me some slack. He narrowed it down to two, the rest sitting it off to the side on the coffee table. So we're having chicken. Yes. Yes. Is there a problem with that? No. Chicken is good. I like chicken. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about something that involved chicken that was weird. Well, good. We're getting chicken. And don't worry about the sauces. I've got it covered. Oh. Super chat. <laughs> this is the Tyson root, right? No, this is the Dean root. That's the craziest part. I like if I finish, like when I finish this, I well, I'll try and go back and see if I can skim through it and see if there's any Tyson unique lines. I feel like day 14 is kind of a converging day where they are all common. That's what day 13 was kind of like. So maybe two days in a row are gonna be like that, and maybe once we get towards the end, it will be more divergent. Anyway. Oh, well, cool. Now we just wait until Dad gets back. Once again, Perpy the Cat donated $2. Thank you so much, Perpy. We headed upstairs to my room, and I collapsed on the bed while Ty took the chair at my desk. So. What do you want to do tonight? I don't know. I didn't know you were coming over until Dad mentioned it. I'm basically always over. Why would that matter? You could play a game or something, and I could watch it, or well, watch a movie or something. I don't know. Um. So <clears throat> w H M Boar. Hold on. Still need the phlegm out of my throat. Um, WHM Boar says, This scene happened in the past, before the manor, so of course none of the choices change what happened in this scene, let alone the root selection. Yeah. True that, um, but in general, yeah, it just feels like this day, in general, day 14 is going to be very just one path. So... Is there anything we you wanted to do? We could go out somewhere. Nah, I'd rather not go anywhere. Besides, if we got food coming to us, there's no point. Hmm. Suppose that's true. Well, how about we start with games? Watch a movie while we eat and then go from there? <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. Sure. Ty, what's the matter? You're normally more... Uh... I remembered struggling with how I wanted to phrase it without something... Or without seeming mean. Granted, I should have known that even if I did say something mean, he would have just turned it back to me. Nah, I'm fine. Just thinking about stuff. Yeah. Cool stuff? Or... Guy stuff. His dad knows. Oh. Um, so that's what dad was talking about. Wait, he told you? Only that you two need to talk about guy stuff and maybe he'd tell me when I was older. <laughs> Fuck. Don't scare me like that. What? It's not that bad, is it? I mean... You could talk to me about it, too, if you wanted. Maybe... When you're older. God damn it. That's Dad's line. You can't just pull that on me, too. Well, too bad. I am. Suck it up. I rolled my eyes and sat up to look at him. Well, fine. Maybe I won't tell you about my guy stuff. I don't care who you're fucking. Okay, hey, first of all, you totally do. 
Second, I haven't hooked up with anyone. Who can relate? Woo. Yeah, the whole saving yourself shtick. You sure your buddies haven't tried playing wingman for you yet? Maybe if I ask them? Maybe I just haven't met the right guy yet, too. One look at your phone would tell me that you're be or one look at your phone would tell me if you're being a perv though. Hmm? Hmm. Who's being a pervert? Dad! What? Dad leaned on the doorway to my room looking at us. You two behaving? Yes, sir. Nope. Well, in that case, I'm going to borrow the one of you that is behaving while I order dinner. What? Am I meant to just stay here? Yeah. We can't be that long, can we? Won't be long at all. Just got to get our guy chat out of the way and then we're good to go. Oh. Well, we're doing it now? Sorry, bud. Better to chat about now while we've got the time, given I have some work. Already made you wait for it, and I'm not going to feel right until you get the chance to get stuff off your chest. This sounds... a lot more serious than what I thought was going to be. <clears throat> Maybe only a little bit. It's a good chat, though. I can promise that much. Looking to Tyson, I saw him nodding, if only barely. Yeah, good talk. Shouldn't take too long, so just sit tight. Bye. They wandered off back downstairs, and I was left puzzled as to what they went to talk about. Dave not being able to piece two and two together. Wow. Amazing. <clears throat> I am sorry, too much phlegm. <clears throat> anyway, they wandered off back downstairs, and I was left puzzled as they, as to what they were, as they what? They wandered off back downstairs, and I was left puzzled as to what they went to talk about. It was something that I hadn't even thought about to ask about to this day either. Other stuff just seemed more important. Or maybe not important, but for sure distracting. I wandered over to my desk and looked over at my art supplies. Nothing really drawing me as far as working on something right now, so I just pulled out a square of paper and started folding. I had gotten into origami when Orlando had given me a beginner's set for my birthday one year and liked how just by folding paper I was able to make stuff. There was a process and while I wasn't great at it, I liked what I usually ended up with. The downside was what it typically took a while for me to get anywhere following the instructions with the book I had, and before I knew it a whole hour had passed with me sitting there with just a single quadrupedal if lopsided wolf. <sighs> I wonder what's taking them so long. Had a lot of guy stuff to talk about, bucko. Dinner's all ordered and Tyson's still downstairs. Promise that he's all yours now. Wink. We headed downstairs together with Dad, wandering off to have a shower and get ready for work. While I looked for Tyson... Tyson, where are you? Oh, there he was, sitting at the dining table with a cup of coffee. And he looked upset. Ty? He turned to look at me, flashing me a quick smile before drinking again from his cup. Oh, hey. Sorry, didn't hear you. You doing all right? Uh, yeah. I made you this while I waited, I guess. What's this? An origami wolf? Looks like you got hit by a car. 
Why do they keep making references to that novel? Why? Rude much? Hey, not my fault. Of, I, not my fault. I can't like I see it. You, uh... Talked to Dad about the guy stuff for long enough? Ty looked. I'd call it sad, but it was something more than that. Worried, maybe. Scared. I couldn't quite place it. Here it comes, the big sad. Oh no. Yeah. I joined him at the table and we sat for the next little bit while he finished his coffee. It was kinda nice. Just waiting around, taking the afternoon slowly. Eventually, we'd have dinner, and it'd just be the same as any other day. Alright, boys. I'm off. Ty was lazing about on the sofa while Dad walked by, and they shared a mutual thumbs up before Dad went outside. Dad, wait up! He turned to me, looking much like Tyson did when I found him in the kitchen. What bothered me more was that he didn't say goodbye like he normally did. Maybe it was just a sign that I was growing up, but I liked seeing him off to work. I rushed up to him and hugged him around the middle. You didn't say goodbye! Oh, Dave. He put his arms around me quickly, hugging me close and pressing his nose into the top of my head. He breathed in deep and sighed out, rubbing my back. I love you, kiddo. Love you too, Dad. Have a good night at work? He, as he eased back, I did too. But he lingered, holding the back of my head and pressing his forehead to mine. I will. And Dave? Yeah? Keep Tyson out of trouble. Ah, no! He said all he needed to say, and before I knew it, he I was leaning on the mailbox, watching as his car pulled out of the driveway and disappeared down the street. The night went as well as it could have up to a point. Tess and I played games, ate dinner, and then just lounged around waiting until Dad got back. Chances were that we'd be up until the early hours of the morning, but I was keen to see him again. It was late. Not nearly late enough, but the flashing red and blue lights cued me into Dad coming home. I was excited. No, don't do this to me! No, don't make a CG! No! <clears throat> I threw the door open to greet him home, but normally he'd switch the lights off before coming inside. I told myself he'd just forgotten, and that he was just eager to get back inside to see me again. No. I remember Dad's police buddy coming to the door. Something was wrong, but maybe it was just to say Dad was... Just Dad had to stay late. Or maybe he'd forgotten something. Maybe there was some misunderstanding. <gasps> no! No, don't do this to me! No! But no, Hoyt, Hoyt Parker, I guess is his name. But no, Hoyt told me that Dad wouldn't be coming home. Not tonight. Not ever. There was a shooting and Dad had been hit. By the time they got him to the hospital, it was too late. The words stunned me in a way that I couldn't process sound, scent, or color. Tyson was there. Yelling, maybe, while I wandered back inside in a daze. Dad was dead. He... My dad... My dad... Was dead. Never to come home again. Never to say he loved me. Or be there when I was upset, scared, or frightened. Not ever again. Wind out, tugging at my ears. It seemed as though Tyson had finished telling his version of the story, and I stood suddenly, 
kicking over the chair that I'd been in. It's not fair! I knew they were staring, but I didn't care. I wanted to scream louder, but I just couldn't. Why did... Why did he have to? My knuckles went white under my fur with how hard I gripped the table while I whined again. Something inside me was throbbing, breaking, cracking, or even shattering into pieces. Why? Why did... No. It was like the dam burst, and my face became wet with every tear I hadn't shed since he died. I cried, and I'm restrained, and it hurt. Deeper than anything else that happened over the past few days. If there was a moment that I wanted to die, it would have been then. If only for the hope that I'd be able to see him again. I want my dad. I... <laughs> I want... <sighs> Tyson pulled me quickly to him and hugged me tight. It didn't stop the crying, but it gave me something to cling to. Almost to the point I was threatening to pull out his fur. <sighs> it must have hurt. He didn't move, though. Instead, just supporting me in this awkward hug he'd put us in. And I want my brother back. Words were caught in my chest and I found myself breathless of, with how he held me. No! This is what the photo was for! Oh, God! Dean was next, followed by Orlando. Staying quiet but throwing their arms around us, too. Then was Haas and Roswell. Not nearly hugging as hard as the other two, but I could feel them near, and it was... It was helping. Sal was last, almost throwing his arms around everyone, and I just continued to bawl my eyes out after I lost the strength to stand. My heart had been breaking for over a year, and now it felt like I was holding what broken pieces were left in my hands, desperately hoping someone would help me put it back together. But slowly, I started to realize that maybe I'll be okay. Maybe not right away, but maybe someday. Surrounded by the warmth of my friends, I passed out again, exhausted and drained of everything that had just happened. But at least I felt at peace. Huh? When I next opened my eyes, I was in my bedroom. I had no idea what time it was or how long I'd slept, but for the first time in a few days... I had an appetite. Sitting up in bed, I noticed a piece of paper, barely folded, placed on my bedside table. I scanned the words and smiled weakly. A note from Tyson saying that when I was ready, that we could talk if I wanted. The others had left notes too. Orlando and Roswell saying that they loved me. Sal and Dean expressing that they'll support me in any way that I needed. Then simply, from Haas was another offer to talk, but punctuated with a simple apology. Wandering out of my room, it seemed as though the house was quiet. I must have really been out for a while. Everything in the refrigerator looked good, and I grabbed what seemed to be leftovers and shoveled it down. <laughs> Sounds like me what I'm going to be eating after this stream. I'm actually going to be eating leftovers at the, this stream. They were pretty good. The moment I tasted it, I recognized Orlando's cooking, and it reminded me of home. Maybe not the literal sense, but a place of comfort far away from this place. My head was still swimming from the flood of emotions that I had been hit with earlier in the day. 
But for now, I was doing all right. I knew though that I wasn't going to get off that easy. Part of me wished I could just gush about Dad to the others so they could understand, but Orlando and Roswell were there so they could possibly explain how big a deal he was to me. If not them, then Tyson. He told them his side of the story after all. But more importantly, I couldn't hide what I'd tried to do twice. Then, what had happened with Jack. And most importantly, why I'd been messing with the vault. It made me realize that unless I leaned on it like a crutch, it wasn't all that useful. It wasn't really a time machine, but it had its uses. The main problem was putting it into words for the others to understand. Thankfully, with Oswin around, that'd make things a little easier. I barely understood it when he told me. But hearing it directly from him should help. There was no reason I could think of to be as tired as I was all the time. But maybe I'd become so used to feeling this way that I never thought it could be, I, it could be the reason. Not that I'd suddenly become a morning person like Sal, or even Haas overnight. As I yawned, I caught some movement off to the side, Haas standing in the doorway of one of the adjoining rooms. Our eyes met for a moment before he gestured to me in the side room, heading on in without waiting. Oh, the side room. We have memories of this from our last playthrough. I took a seat on one of the sofas in the room, and Haas just sat there, far enough away that I had my space on a separate chair. At first he didn't say anything, seemingly thinking over his words before he broke the silence. I didn't... expect it to be something that hard-hitting. I sighed out, rubbing my head. And don't get me wrong. I can only imagine what it's like, but I think I understand a little. Losing someone that you're close to. It must be rough. Yeah, it... It is. He nodded slowly, shifting in his chair uncomfortably. But, er, that's Dave. But it's not all bad just mostly bad what do you mean well i don't know ty never left especially in that first week he was very i don't know um intent on making sure i was okay stuff like making sure i ate bathed even sat outside for a bit each day to get some sun. I need to get some sun. I'm pale as hell. So, so I have that to be thankful for, at least. Take it from someone who, I guess, feels the same way. The fact that he called you a brother gives me an idea of where his head might be. I know I'd do the same for my siblings if something happened. Maybe. I've never had a brother or sister, so Tyson's the only thing I've got that's close. Haas nodded slowly, running his hand through his mane. When you wake up, did you read the note? Yeah. It was nice, I think. Something I wasn't used to for sure. Well, that's a plus. Oswin's been scarce since he took the syringe away. Otherwise, I'd be asking him if it was actually... Well, what it said on the label. He didn't come back? Benson did, but said that Oswin had stuff he wanted to think over. Maybe the test didn't go so great, or maybe he was just wanting to hear it from you directly. If it wasn't so late, I'd probably go talk to him now. 
Because I'd like to know, too. So you really didn't... You know? I shook my head, and he nodded in understanding. Reaching out, he patted my shoulder, leaving his hand there for a bit. Good. I mean, we still don't really know what happened, but please don't hide this serious stuff anymore. It just makes us worry about you more. Okay, but Haas? Tomorrow is going to be... A little hard. Uh, hard? How? According to the creator of the password visual novel Grizz, day 15 is going to be hard because... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> like, that used to be funny. It's just like, here's a tutorial on how hard day 15 is going to be. Use these cheat codes to beat it. <laughs> uh, no, but anyway. Hard? How? Just... Something Oswin told me a while back. Something that probably led to everything being a mess. With the vault? Something like that, yeah. Just... Don't go breaking again, to, or don't go breaking again trying to tell us. If Oswin knows about it already, just make sure he's in the room too, alright? I nodded slowly having had the same idea as my plan. Not that it was much of one, but having some backup when I had to bring up the task he set for me seemed like the right call. Tiredness caught me again, and I yawned, rubbing my eyes. You should get back to bed. I can only imagine how exhausted you are. <laughs> Who can relate? Woo! <laughs> yeah... Yeah, I probably should. We both stood up, and I knew that if I didn't get back to bed soon, I'd probably comfortably pass out the moment I found somewhere nice to lay down. Hey. I'm sorry. Not just for forcing it out of you, but also just... everything. I shook my head and I flashed him a quick smile. It's all right. Someone had to do it, right? Still, I'm sorry, Dave. Thanks, Haas. Uh, see you in the morning? So long as you don't sleep the day away again. I got up to my room and sighed out, resting back on the door as I closed it behind me. I'd barely been awake for it, but the day had been long and tiring. Wandering over to my bed, I lay down in an attempt to get some more sleep. For as tired as I was, part of me wanted to stay awake, fearing another dream like the one I had had. Or maybe just waking up sad upon seeing my dad again. But despite my mind and my heart not wanting it to happen... My body needed the rest, and I slowly drifted off. And that is the end of the demo. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, save. Dean, part three. All right. I'm going to kind of skim through this again. It seems like everything's going to be the same no matter what for Dame Four, Dame for Day 14, but if anything different happens, I'll read it out loud. So, end of the current demo. All right, now let's do the Tyson version so I can be up to date on Tyson's Day 14. There we go, Day 14. Bam, saved. All right, here we go. We're gonna have to skip through all the feels. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I don't wanna hit myself with feels again. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Literally, the, everything's been the same. So, 
Luckily, I called it this time, and we are just going to have Dean slash Tyson for the day 14 thing. Okay, I slowly drifted off, and that is the end of the demo. Okay, and now I'm going to save a Tyson part 3. Bam. Here we go. Speaking of the mess of a save menu or save screen, Grizz has finished working on some UI updates and has made a save screen they sh that should be much easier to use. Oh, that's going to be great. I currently have that similar format that's in there right now for my save menu. Um, I'm curious to see what Grizz has for it. Like if he, if he's changing the game with that, <laughs> changing the game. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but you know, if he's changing kind of the format of how it's displayed in any way. Because, I don't know, I don't have a big problem with it. I'm fine with it, but, you know, game game devs know best, and he is a, actually a game dev. Like, he w went to school for it, I think. That's what he's told me, so. He's got more knowledge than I do, so <laughs> I'll trust him on this. And that is the end of the password update 26 and day 14. We are just over two hours. This is a short update for Password, but it really packed a lot in it. So I am very happy with this update and I'm glad that I did it now just to kind of get myself some time to relax after writing all day and then hitting a checkpoint that I wanted to with that. So now I'm in the, I guess the final leg of writing the update because I'm getting to like the final main scene of it. There's like a couple of like main scenes and a little sub scenes inside of it. So I got to the final, I'm at the final main scene now. I had to finish the subset of the previous main scene. So yeah, I was like, I just had to get that done. I was like, we gotta get to this part of the story. I'm like, let's finally write it in, move on. And then I did, I'm like, whew, a lot of work. So celebrated with some password. So. If I have time sometime next week, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a stream on Friday because I have possibly on Friday a presentation to do for our final. I was going, it was going to happen on Tuesday, but my, but my project mate is going to be on the plane that day. So he's like, can we do it on Friday? Sure, might as well. <laughs> so I may push the stream to Thursday, to Saturday. One of those two days. For the following week, I mean. This for the rest of this weekend, I'm probably gonna be studying and and if I have any time, I'd be like writing more for the novel. So yeah, that's kind of what I got in schedule for my mind. I, I am really happy that you guys came and watched. In terms of any other updates, I would say Um um, 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 March Madness. The polls are in the description. D d or, the, yeah, the description. That's what it's called, yes. <laughs> Please go and vote on your best boys. I mean, we have almost 200 in the VN category, so. And there's like about 80-ish, almost 80 maybe, or something like that, around 80 for the non-VN category. And then best girl, we're still kind of creating. We're taking suggestions for that. But we will be taking the suggestions through, like, the other categories, questions part, like the fill-in-the-blank parts, or, or, you know, the long response. So, yeah. Leave your best girl suggestions in those other surveys so I can add them to the best girl ca category and have enough to then finally implement it. But, yeah, all three categories are still in turn. I think I'm pretty set on the limit that I'm gonna have for the VN category so there's so many that you can do and it's like uh, I just had to stop myself and probably for non-VN but I haven't had enough suggestions for that and god I'm not having the time right now to add more to it so we're staying stagnant for now I'm just kind of checking in the rankings every now and then and updating them once new responses come in so yeah that's it um I don't really have much else to say for the stream. This stream is awesome, and I want to thank you guys for supporting me, like, 
monetarily with this and also with your views and watching and if you're not subscribed already there's this trend of people saying if you're not subscribed subscribe already so <laughs> do that if you want like i'm saying like that would be a good idea for me it helps me out to you know get more get more clout i guess <laughs> but yeah it helps you know broaden my range as a youtuber and <laughs> visual novel reader and yeah i'm gonna go eat <laughs> soon after i end this stream because i am hungry and i bought some stuff from costco and mm, i got these amazing haagen dazs bars that are just mm, gotta eat them <laughs> not sponsored by them but god if they're like these limited time ones and i'm like oh i'm gonna be sad when they're gone and i only bought one because i thought i didn't know how much they were they didn't mention the price and so I bought like only four or five things from the store that, today, and it was like, oh, it only came out to under 30 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I could have bought more. <laughs> I was like looking back there, maybe I should check the receipt to see how much it was. I didn't really look for that individual item. But yeah, anyway, March Man, this in the description. My VN, Ocean Avenue, the update should come out by the end of the year. I'll be going ham on writing the update starting on winter break so after next week so starting like probably starting after that friday so like maybe saturday of next week up until the end of the year i'm going to be like trying to get invest myself into writing and <laughs> streaming when i can <laughs> but yes that'll be more of a time to let my hair down not think about school before I get plowed with school when winter comes. Because I start the winter quarter during the first week of January. No January break at all. God, I love the quarter system. But anyway, that is all. I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, take care, guys.